Hey there, welcome to Big Board. Got some cards in my hand. It's uh, the number one number one board war game, actually, in the whole world on BGG is Twilight Struggle. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, we we need to do ourselves a favor. And we need to understand it. We need to find the conflict. We need to find the war. We need to know all about it because we just can't be running around playing Case Blue or an OCS title or Lock and Load or Red Winter or Musket and Pike or War of the Suns or the Russian Campaign or the Blitzkrieg Legend or Next War Career. We can't be doing that. How can we possibly be doing that? Those, those games are war games. But people, this is a war game. This, it's listed as a war game. We're gonna we're gonna find out what a real war game is all about. July fourth. That's what I'm doing. Let's continue. Hey guys. So uh, I decided that you know it's July fourth. I'll play outside. It'll be fun. And I thought I'd play. Uh, while I struggle outside and I've got the game set up and I've got I'm video taping so you'll be able to see the whole thing it's gonna be awesome and I tell you what you know as as the games progressed we've got um, there's a virtual point track you start with a hand of cards each and your cards out and you play them out and there's actions and operations and stuff and you really got to it's pretty tense you've got to kind of uh, build up your power base influence the countries in the way and the cards come up that you don't like and it's a lot of stuff going on let me tell you I just got to check the video hang on a second so anyway, like I said, a bunch of stuff going on. We'll zoom in so you can see the action of them. It's probably right there. I don't know if that's a good a good place to see it all, but you know, there's a lot of uh, a lot of to and fro, oh, a lot of to and fro with the game. Uh, but I think in the end of the day, I think it's you know, it's about counting those cards, man. If you're a good card counter, you can keep track of what's going on. Man, it sure does make it interesting to, uh, you know, just kind of boom and you're, you're done with your, uh, you're done with your game because it's all over all of a sudden. And I was thinking it needs a little more conflict. That's what I was thinking. More, more fight, more something. I don't know, but I'm going to, I'm just going to, I'm going to do a little modification. I'm going to try a couple of different rules that I've read about and, uh, and we'll see how they work out. I, I think this might add uh, a little bit of excitement to the game. Let's let's see what you think. Now I think this should really start to pop along a little bit. We'll see if uh, South America has an influence on the game as much as I thought it might. Uh, one of the things about Twilight Struggle is you have to be patient and you've got to let the action build and then choose the right time to put that hardcore hurt on your man, on your opponent. Particularly for the Americans, you've got to be patient. You've got, a, you've got a lot of impact if you if you make the wrong choice or, the, or play the wrong card at the wrong time. Um, I think the the conflagration is spreading across the map. Conflict is building, pretty much. This is cool. I think the Americans might win. Well, then again, you know the Russian the Russians said play the right card at the right time, anything can happen. I'm not sure if I need to keep these rules or not. What do you think? In case I want to play another game, I probably shouldn't burn it. Yeah, look, see, I think the Americans are going to get the better of this. Although the you know, nuclear holocaust is kind of spread out a little bit, there's um, the trouble starting to spread to Russia, Eastern Europe. And I see, uh, I see the beginnings of action, even in China. This is amazing. People have said this is not a war game and there's no conflict. I don't believe them. There's a lot going on in this game. I'm going to play. I'm going to play uh, South America scoring. Oh, here's a good one. A brush war. Ha. Huh. Mid-war. This is, 
there's a card you can play, it's called destalinization. That's gonna help. This is gonna, this is gonna, this is, this one will, oh. The counterplay to that card is we will bury you. Oh, I did, I missed it. Ow, oh, ow, oh, hot, hot, hot. People were telling me that this game's no fun. They're full of shit. They don't know what they're talking about, dog. This is a great game. I'm all in. This is what happens when things go nuclear. Let you know that we did our best uh, to get, find the, the, the game, find the battle, find the opportunity for war in that game, and uh, uh, we did. We found it, and no, no animals were hurt in the making of this movie. No people were hurt in the making of this movie, and I did not actually burn my house down. But Twilight Struggle. A game of conflict.